Hello, everybody. Welcome back to K2SE. Fantastic, Mr. Ghost. I have three rockets on the ready. There we go. Let's go over some things that I did on Cornetto. I'm about to leave. Okay, we're, I'm going to leave this rock. And, oh boy. This is something we're going to be doing here. I got to check to see if I can blast. I don't think I can, though. I'd like to do the meteor defense ammo. I would like to rocket blast this, you know, using those uh, cannons, delivery cannons. I'd love to use a delivery cannon for the, to send it, this stuff here. But I, I can't make a delivery cannon, I don't think. Uh, oh, I need the big electric motor. So that means I got to get lube and all that crap. So I don't feel like dealing with that crap right now. I am making the ammo here. Huh, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> I think I'm safe to use LTN because I clicked on the train thing here. The icon and this surface has it's i think this is completely disconnected from the other surfaces so if i do ltn here and i could do network id one we're done we're golden so i might go into ltn and change the default from negative one to one and then i gotta go and change all of my my uh, ltn combinators on the uh, novice so because i'd like to use one because, because negative one, I think, is giving me a problem. It only, sh uh, negative one network ID is including all network IDs, I think, is what's going on. So, anyway, I got to come back to Cornetto. Hey, there, battery train. So, here I have um, a circuit condition. Uh, the train will only deploy if the battery is low or steel or green circuits. So, and I have that on the red wire, and that's getting transmitted throughout the whole network. So that's how you control trains without LTN. So here I've got a green circuit build that I did. Real simple. It's wood, uh, copper mining, copper smelting. Real, you know, the basic stuff. I don't care uh, about doing the crazy stuff here. And then I got a wood green circuit build, copper cable. I'm loading the green circuits here. And same, same thing where... If the uh, circuits are zero at the uh, defense site and and the cargo is full, it sends the train and then empty cargo to come back. I have copper plate here. This is a point-to-point -point train. And that, <laughs> yeah, I had to go all the way down here. It's not that big of a deal. It, it's long when you're not on your home planet with all of your, you know, stuff. <laughs> so up here, I hacked in a bunch of trains. I've got the sulfur drop off here, twelve thousand. That's gonna, that's gonna grow until nu nuclear power starts to consume the sulfuric acid because that's always running. Uh, so yeah, you know, I got the iron train for the sulfuric acid, and then uh, I got the sulfur coming in there. This is a, uh, it'll prioritize this over all of this here because it's jamming it up. So here's where the copper train is, point to point. That's the battery machine. I don't need a lot of production to make those uh, things. And then this one's gonna start filling up. Uh, so iron here, uh, sulfuric acid here, copper, long arm, boom, done. And then I just belt it right on in the train. And that one is set to hold only one little stack. So it's one stack at a time, 200. So that's that. Now I had to close some loops to make sure I don't have to come back here. Uh, this this is the stone collection for, ah, there we go. There, whoop. <laughs> I think that's tritium, so I'm just grinding that up. I don't need these speed modules, and i got to come over here and take them up before I go. So I've got the steel point-to-point -point train here for the fuel cells and all that. So this train right here, the stone, it's collecting it, and it's bringing it to here. And this is my collection area. What it does is it'll grind it up into, sta into sand, and then I have a priority belt to fill up this train because this is the supplement for the immersium processing because there's not enough sand to run everything that I have there. So if there's a backup here, it will default to the sand to landfill. So it's 200 to one and then it grinds it up. So it should be pretty safe here. I've got this chest uncapped. I don't care, run it, you know. So the train will come back and forth, fill up and it'll go to the rocket silo and unload. So if I need more cryonite, it's covered, you know. So that's the uh, loop that I closed there. And I think, oops, um, what else? Oh, over here, look at this sand that I have in here. 
41,000 sand. <laughs> That's how much sand I'm getting from the crinite rods and the stone from uh, the uranium processing. Now, the the rods will fill up eventually and stop, so this will, won't be this crazy. Um, and I, I don't foresee this running very much. The immersium crystals will probably run more. Well, it will run more than the plate when the research is done, of course, and we don't have any more research for a while because those plates are really low consumption. I think it's six plate per per card, maybe. I'll have to look at it. Uh, so right now, all that's running is this right here. And so let's go up here real quick. Uh, yeah, this one is going to fill up to 50,000 because it stacks to 100. It's kind of rough. Uh, I mean, it's very expensive to send these rockets. So that's why I'm like, just fill this stupid thing up. And I, I'm really leaning towards bigger builds, bigger power on the planets. But it's really tough because you got to do the space exploration shuffle to collect all the materials. I've got plenty of power on this planet. Plenty. So I could really go crazy. And also, let me show you a map view. This is how big the planet is here. So it's a, a very small planet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the Immersium Crystal. Or let's see. I was going to take... Oh. Yeah, I want to go up to space, novice orbit, and I'm going to take this rocket right here because uh, I can I can take the capsule back down from novice orbit, and then I'll take some crystals with me because I want to make the speed modules level threes and start converting things to prod three, efficiency three, and speed three so we can get that extra bonus, you know. So I'll show you what I got going on here. I have a robo port here, and I need to bring more bots, so I can I gotta remember to do that. Um, I think I'll I'll have to write that down. So what I have here, I have this one recycler. It gets jammed up, but you know if even if one rocket's being fueled, uh, but it's not like this is a you know I have to send a rocket every every two seconds you know so it'll be fine. I would like to uh, put more in so that it doesn't jam it up and we can get fast fueling. So what I'm going to do on Novice from now on is the fuel, I have this named fuel landing pad. And that's going to be the generic, a generic landing pad name. And as I mentioned, I think in the last episode, when I was going over Astus and all that, is that you can launch to any landing pad with name and the caveat there is the rocket it has an information here for cars landing pad which it doesn't have uh i don't have it set yet it won't launch i think it says chance rocket will uh successfully on a landing pad failure results lost um cargo still delivered in cargo pods in the vicinity of the landing pad okay so it crashes basically now what uh there is a text thing here that comes up that says cannot launch because landing pad is full so if you do any pad with name once the pad becomes empty then the a rocket will send fuel and i don't have to worry about you know i, I can have one rocket fuel um one rocket fuel rocket done and send it you know to astus send it here so i have to go back to astus and and um you know adjust that so yeah, more work. Um, however, the the tricky part is this the rocket sections, and uh, there's a, a a situation that you have to accommodate for here, and that is the space capsules, which are the bane of my existence in this playthrough, or well, any playthrough really. <laughs> I mean, anybody who's playing this mod is gonna go, damn it, I have to deal with these space capsules. So if I'm sending a rocket full of these here, the the cargo rocket sections. I have to also have enough of the space capsules to send the rockets because there's not going to be a, you know, a send and return, send and return. And unless you're sending a rocket to deliver something and then you're using that, you don't get 100% right now. You have to have the research to get that 100%. So you have one capsule, one space capsule and 100 rocket sections once you get the research for it. That's fine, but the fuel to send one rocket isn't isn't you know quite expensive so you know it's 
uh, you think you're better off doing this here. Now, if you're doing one rocket to supply something and one rocket back to su to supply something else, you get you know you're getting a back and forth. I think it's okay because it's one rocket silo. Build one rocket to use the materials to build the other rocket, and then you're sending the mater uh, material back. So you're only sending one and one and one and one, right? Well, this is a different situation where I'm sending a ton of uh, fuel here. I'm going to have an extra rocket now, an extra little capsule. So this rocket section rocket is going to be hard-coded here, and I have to calculate and uh, retroactively deduct from the current situation. So if I send, like I'm sending fuel, right? And, we, you know, we don't know how much fuel we're going to be needing for every planetary surface. So you have to have a general approach to it. So you have to retroactively deduct what you have. So if you're over, then you have to subtract it from what you're sending as far as the space capsules are concerned, if that makes any sense. So let's say I have, like I'm sending 400. Um, so I think in Helmut here, uh, here, and we'll clear. So if we have 400 times five, that's 2,000 rocket sections. You divide that by 100, and that's 20 rocket launches. So we need 20 capsules. The problem is, though, we're spending, we're sending the fuel. So if, in this case here, it takes uh, 80, uh, 86,000 fuel to send one rocket. Well, that means that, you know, whatever this is here, I think it's 250,000 fuel. So you have to take the 86,000 divided by uh, 250,000, and then you get the amount of fuel that one rocket fuel, one rocket sending, you know, a full rocket of fuel can, can supply for here. So that means we're going to have extra rocket, extra space capsules. So what you have to do is send a signal back to how much you, how many space capsules you have here and then deduct it from, well, you have you have the caps, the space sections, you do the division and all that stuff, and you're going to have a rounding error, and then you have the amount of space capsules here. Then you go, okay, I need this many, and as you send rockets and the rocket sections get consumed and the space capsules get sent off, you have to have a mathematical calculation at the, at the back end. So that's why I say it's retroactive, because... The capsule, the rocket, the problem is the rocket's going to load and it, you're not going to have a signal to unload. Oh, wait, I got to take a rocket set. I got to take a capsule out. It's too confusing to do it that. I mean, it's not that you can't, there's, you could do anything in this mod with the combinators, but you know, how far do you want to go is the point. So it's better to just do a retroactive calculation and just send less rock, re, less space capsules on the next trip. So that that's kind of how I'm going to handle it there. I have here... Um, a grinder, so just in case a spaceship or a rocket cargo rocket crashes, I've got the construction bots, and the problem is I only have the one logistic bot, so I have to get you know a bunch more, probably get nine more or something like that. I have um, the known things like scrap and the cargo sections or the cargo whatever what are these called, the cargo pods. I'm not gonna bother with those. I'm just gonna grind them up, get them out of here because. Uh, I mean, I could send them back, but that's not really what I'm doing here. I'm trying to send materials back, not little bits and pieces, you know. Now, if there's something else that I didn't, f that I forgot about, I can set these up to um, be picked up by the bots, you know. So I can have that being done. Now, uh, the problem is that I can't set the, I can't leave these, I, if I leave these open, like I have here, I have to, I can't use the filter. I have, well, you have to use filter inserters to keep things from being grabbed. Because if I want to do some work here from, uh, you know, the top-down view, uh, I think it's an interactive view or whatever. Uh, let's say I want to remove, you know, some comedy or, or whatever, uh, like over here. I'm not sure what I want to do with these with, with the receiver yet. So let's say I want to remove the, uh, move this over, you know, because you have to have the parts here in order to move stuff around. Now... If I want to move those, the problem is that the bots are going to bring it over to storage. And then the storage, if these are just regular inserters, they're going to get chopped up. So I can't, you know, I can't have that. 
So that's why I got to be careful with how I set that up. Oh, and this is the packs over here, by the way. Cornetto packs, so I can come over here. And then I think I... Oh! Oh, I used my packs train for something. Yeah, I don't know. I have to make another one. That's fine. Okay, so for now... Oh, and let's go up here real quick. The uh, sand... Yeah, see, it's a trickle of sand right now. And, yeah, that's a lot of sand. Holy crap. <laughs> that's awesome. So that is good to go. Now, the other option that I have is, and I don't, I, I, if I don't need to use it, I'm not going to. It's the core mining drill. I could use that for stone, but there's not much stone on this planet. But the core mining drill is a good way to get a resource that you don't have a lot of. And it's an infinite resource at that point. I have iron, I have copper, and every, you know everything I have here. Now, if I need another resource on this planet, I could put a core mining drill and just mine it up. I could do probably a Mersite and all that stuff. So you might, once your resources uh, run out, if, if you're having a playthrough that's going on for 10 years, that is. Because <laughs> you could do mining prod forever, and you can extend the life of your playthrough for a long time with mining prod. So I'm not too worried about that. So I think I covered it all. Oh, one of the things I'm going to do, yeah. So this one, the fuel is just going to go wherever the pad is empty. It's just going to send it. So I'll have one rocket launch for fuel and that's it and it'll go to multiple stops or multiple landing pads but i have to manage each rocket section differently because of the space capsule problem now there might be a better way to do it which i mean you could make the capsules on the planet but that's a lot of work you have to do rcus heat shields um solar i mean that's a pretty intense process to make the caps, the space capsules. So it's not something you want to do on every planet, I don't think. Um, you're better off just managing it in one spot with combinators, you know. All right, well, I think it's time to go back. So uh, let me see. Oh, yeah, I have to come back here for these two. Well, at least one. If I have to come back, I'll. I have the ability to ride three rockets i can come back here three times basically or two more times so i think it's time to to hop in bonk now i want to go to novice orbit and i'm going to go to the novice um packs and i want to um i'm going to take some immersite with me back down and then i want to set these landing pads up oh i want to set up rockets to do specific landing pad materials so i'm going to send up uh heat shields low density structures and steel specifically for uh building the uh platforms you know specific because i don't want to take the um like i said i don't want to mess with the um research rocket so i think i'm ready to go let's do it Yay, we made it. <laughs> Very cool. Uh oh, oh no. Guess what? I don't have. There we go. Wait. Oh, are they not bringing me my capsules? There we go. What's this? What's it saying there? My inventory. Oh, oh, I got to put this on. What? Oh, gosh darn it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> so now they're filling me up with crap that I don't have. Oh, that's funny. All right. Yeah, I'm suffocating. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I forgot I didn't have my building suit on. So what happens is that this suit, I decided to use this Power Armor MK2 over the thruster suit. It's slower, but I, I have two jetpacks in there to accommodate for that. The thruster suit is faster. I don't know. I guess there's some extra thrust in there. Because <laughs> you still need a jetpack for it. But I get more inventory space with the other suit. The MK2 suit. This one here. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, I guess I'll go with that. Uh, I think I'll leave this on. Yeah. Okay. So we got the Immersite and... Oh, where is my uh, capsule? Did I grab it? Oh, there it is. Duh, I put it here. I didn't even see it. <laughs> All right, let me get this crap here. Wow, that's a lot. Holy cow. I need 56. Oh, dear. Okay, what? Well, 
Ooh, 60. One, two, three. Wow, I'm just going to be able to bring... Okay, well, let me get this set up and we'll go back down. Yay, we're back on Novice. Oh my gosh. Kind of cool. It remembered, I guess, the last point where I had uh, dumped off here. That's cool. All right, well, let's put that in there. Get that in there. And then I've, I combined these. I was smart. At least I think I am. Time to head back to the hub. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up the... I got to get uh, two, three, three landing pads to go up into space. So I have to carry those with me. We're going to go back to Cornetto. And then I'm gonna, I'll make all of the materials and stuff. And we'll go back over there. Finish off Cornetto to make sure it's protected. And then uh, we got crinite rods, and then the plate can wait, but I want to have the landing pad ready so that it'll send it when we're uh, when the landing pad is placed and set up. Boom, we're done. So I, I don't know how I want to do the landing pad, or I don't want to. I'm not too sure. I, I think that I'm going to rip everything up and redo it because I have to accommodate for the new card, and I also want to try and future proof a little bit with the cards that are coming up. All right, I'm gonna work on the uh, speed modules here. Oh, I was also thinking about doing a launch pad or some rockets here for the the hub materials. If I need something, I can request it to the rocket and then send the rocket wherever I am because you get new situations where you don't have something. And I don't care if it's one thing that I need, I will send it to the planet. I don't care how much fuel I have to <laughs> spend, you know. I don't know if I... Oh, I don't know if I showcase this. Down here. Uh, oh, here. Yeah, this is all cleaned up now. Uh-oh. Oh. Ooh. Cor novice Orbit. That's weird. I hope it doesn't destroy my stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I cleaned this all up here. And so I've got the blocks. Look at this. Now, I don't know, I think, oh, I had a screw-up. Remember I said I was losing power on Astus? Well, it was launching these, <laughs> it launched a rocket here, and I had to hurry up and go back to Astus and punch more power down because I, I was, I didn't know I was losing power. So, because I added all that stuff, oh my god. And so I have all these extra Vulcanite blocks now. So this is all cleaned up. All I need is sand here. I could... You know, obviously put this right up. I don't need to belt this. I could direct feed it right on in because uh, we just have the, this, these two items here. Sulfur is gone. And yeah, so I'll clean this up now that I see it. Yeah, when you start removing stuff, you start seeing thing, things you can do better. And then uh, here, I, I needed to keep all this in because I got the pyroflux here. We need the blocks for research and then the rocket, you know, um, well, you know, rocket fuels for space science. Pyroflux is for the productivity. So that he, I just left it here and left this here and did kind of a little belt bust there. I'd love to tighten this up, you know, and get it all closer, but why? Why bother? You know, it's fine the way it is. And then I've got, still got the hydrogen thing here. Oh, and then I have light oil over here. I don't know if I mentioned this, but when I, uh, I did this oil build here for lube. So this is a heavy oil to lube. Yeah, I think I, I don't know if I showcased this. This, the primary purpose of this build here is using its uh, coal liquefaction. And boy, it can heat, eat some coal. So I have to, um, and it's okay if it doesn't, well, when it, the spin-up was just chewing up the coal. But it's not going to run that crazy, you know, for the for that. Well, if a train comes and picks up the lube, it'll be running like crazy. So I have a gas train here. It's priority 100. So... But if a train doesn't come pick up, I have a venting here. And then uh, I have light oil here. And this is a great use of uh, for rocket fuel. I mean, it's crazy. Light oil is pretty good for light for rocket fuel. The pyroflux is better. Obviously, it's way better. But the, the, you know, the issue of getting it to this planet or to process it is another story. But anyway, I was going to do, a, yeah, some rocket silos here. And then set it up to where... Um, I, I can blast off from here to go to other planets. So instead of my PAX rocket being where it is, I'll maybe have to pull it down here. 
and then I'll have everything centrally located and I can have the bots loaded up uh, and I can remotely come here and set a combinator to set requests. So I can say, oh, I want this item or items. Uh, the way you do that is uh, logistics chest. Well, we can go over here actually. And you take a combinator, if I can find it in this mess, and then you wire it up and you set requests. And what happens is you could go here and I can say, give me, uh, for example, um, I'd say I want one of those right there. Well, guess what? It sent the request. So it'll request one, it'll put it into the rocket. Now you have to have your arithmetic combinators here to negate what's in the rocket and subtract from the constant combinator so it removes the request. So I think that's how you'd have to do that. All right, so we'll, I'm gonna work on the modules and then, uh, cause yeah, I, I guess I may be bringing them with me to Cornetto would be a good idea cause then I can boost production there as well. And we have plenty of power and I'll bring efficiencies as well. Ooh, you know what, I have just enough I think I have enough cryonite rods here. I can make a couple efficiency modules to put it in the nuclear power area, and then we should be good to go. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm in my rocket ship. I did some stuff off uh, between cuts here. I ran out of efficiency module material, the cryonite rods, but that's okay. I, uh, I have to go back to... I could take a rocket back to Cornetto and most likely it'll be a fuel rocket. I might, I'll force it or something. I don't know. We'll see. And what I did is I put efficiency and speed threes and productivity threes in the rocket section build. And then I went over to here and did the same. I got, oh, and I put Speed three. Oh, I got to get efficiency. See, I started it uh, to bring the power down. This, these, uh, oh my God, the plastic and copper just get so mauled in these low density structure builds. It's nuts. I swear I'd rather do dedicated builds to feed this only, you know, just do an oil build for plastic, <laughs> plastic build, copper build, steel build feed. <laughs> it's nuts. And then uh, I think the uh, heat shielding here. Oh yeah, I I just did this one here and I got speed three. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I could take these out and put prod in there. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Glad I remembered or saw that. So that's cool. Yeah, I'll I have to come here and fix it. Now I can't put a speed beacon down. I'd have to put it further down so it doesn't interact with that one. So I'll have to do, I could put it here like that. So I go one, two, three, and then I could speed this up. The problem is that it's gonna, you know, chow down on more stuff. Now, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, steel ingots. I mentioned this, uh, I think in the last episode. Yeah, <laughs> 62 and a half. <laughs> and it's a third blue belt because I set this I think it's the, the logistics. No, I think it's preferences and then default item logistic. Uh, default of items logistic. I don't know what that wording is there. I put, I have the blue belt selected now because I'm going to try and work towards blue belt builds because we have beacons, we have level three stuff, you know. Uh, so here it is. And I you notice how I have beacons. I have efficiency and speed in the beacons here. What's really easy about this is you just do one zero zero on your beacon configuration and actually, oh, wait a minute. So this one is for steel ingot to steel plate. Uh, so I need better steel production. It's just nuts. Now I still have, I have this wood one here. Look at this. It's nine with just the sand only. If I put the fertilizer in this one, it'll go down. But I, I don't know, man. It just seems like that fertilizer is just gonna reduce the sand footprint. But I'm gonna work on that off screen. I'll showcase that. The receiver is set to Cornetto. And what I did on Cornetto, 
is I have, I gotta, man, I gotta knock that uh, auto save down. This one I just named, oh, that's a receiver there. Uh, get out of there. I named this Cornetto, and I know, I'm not too sure about the naming, because can I name this Cornetto as well? Because I have, I could say Cornetto receiver, you know. That's why I was naming it transmitter receiver, but if you go back to the planet here, you select the channel. So I don't know if the transmitter receiver, what, you know, like naming it, it, it seems like you'd want it to want to name it differently or have it named such that you know what signal you're picking. So I might change that to Cornetto transmitter and then this one will be Cornetto transmitter. But I, you know, it's just kind of unclear. It should be channel should I, I i think that's a little it's unclear it should be um transmitter you know instead of channel it should be transmitter it's because you're receiving from a transmitter so what transmitter do you want to receive from that's that's why this doesn't it, it's not really um a good way to label it so what i have here is a green signal and that's uh this is going to be i'm going to get rid of the fuel rocket here and I'm going to, maybe I'll keep, well, I could keep this one or this one, doesn't matter, and simplify the rocket fueling. Well, the, I still need the pipes and stuff, but uh, yeah, so one of the, I'm just going to use one of the, I'm going to disband one of these here. So I'll manually, I might ride this one back to Cornetto if, because uh, this one's set to Cornetto none launch on green so what i could do is set this to fuel landing pad and it's launch manual so it won't go and then i'll wire it up or i, I and then you don't need wires for this so that's gonna be nice okay so i think i'm ready to go what i want to do is wire this up here uh get this wired up to here and it won't send until i take that drop down box and and uh do something with it okay let's see what we got here cornetto cornetto launch now this is what launch on green or one cargo full now the cargo will never be full boom there we go so it's the green signal we're good to go by the time this loads up you know obviously the the launch pad will be ready to go so that one yeah should be good to go and we'll finish up on cornetto here and then we're going to go to novice orbit with the uh crinet rods hey we got a success very cool okay so there we go this is emptying out here wow look at that we got plenty of uh plenty of these guys so that well that's a lot of these little sections there okay now it's done so now look we have 17 in there oh 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 wait a minute crap this thing's loading um i forgot to wait a minute this one here oh oh wait a minute are you not wired up no you're not wired up let's do this it's it is wired up hold on a minute okay I think it is wired. No, it's not. Okay, it was just confusing me. Oh, it's wired up there. Okay, so... Yeah, see, it's loading up those. And I'll put... Whoop! Oh, I hate that when it runs into that thing. Put those there. Okay. So that wasn't wired. Less than one. 31,000. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, I gotta go over here and plop this down. Kaboom! Oh, oh, these are level twos. Ah, okay. Well, we can change that. There we go, level threes, baby. I'll put a speed in there. And, oh, you need a power. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to update that and that. So we're faster now. I didn't put prod in here because I didn't feel the need. And it's only speed, so yeah, I didn't need to do that. I think 
The reason that these only take speed, not prod, is because it would, you would get more nitrogen out as well. So it would, uh, and that's kind of uh, why it would multiply the nitrogen. So I wanted to increase the product production on this here. We're at minus 40. Oh, well, I can do a beacon here. Uh, we'll increase the, the speed. Ah, perfect. Right there, baby. I'm going to put four in because I like to do the efficiencies. So that's 40% now. Much better. Okay. And then now that that's sped up, what I can do is put the um, a level three prod in here now. And that'll be... Oh, it's minus 20 now. Oh. Well, that sucks. Huh. I don't want to slow it down. Okay. That'll be fine. Yeah, I'd rather have it a little faster with more pride there. Okay, cool. Now, let's go over here. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, I did look into the delivery cannon, and it does not deliver these uh, ammo, the ammo for this. So, oh, another thing, too, the delivery cannon. <laughs> this really sucks, okay? I Oh, my God. Every time I turn around, there's something slapping you. Now, I don't know if this is a Crestorio 2 thing, but I cannot use gasoline for solid fuel. And then that means I can't. So if you click on the solid rocket fuel, you only have four recipes. Now I was watching uh, Dosh Dashington, and he had a recipe where it you could use gasoline for solid fuel to rocket fuel, I think. And I don't know if that's been backed up, by space exploration or a Crestorio 2 or if it was a change from 06 because he was on 06 I'm on I don't know what I'm on so we have ammonia oxygen iron plate uh hydrogen chloride oxygen iron plate light oil now the problem is the gasoline so you have to vent gasoline in order to get the light oil for the solid rocket fuel and this is a good this is a decent recipe right here because it's, the, you know, 100 light oil is not too bad. And you get prod and you can speed them up. And, you know, all your machines. And then you've got the pyroflux. Well, get this. Uh, I can't send... Oh, I can't do oxygen up in space. I'm pretty sure. So the pyroflux comes from the blocks, right? Because of the vulcanite block. So what I have to do is send up rocket fuel... <laughs> which I'm already doing, to fuel the rocket to come back down to Novice. So that's just a small glitch, you know, I guess. So I'll, I'll be, uh, I have a rocket that, or I do have, I set up a delivery cannon to send Vulcanite blocks some wherever. So I can do, like, if I wanted to do, like, a rocket um, on another surface up in space, you know. So that'll work out. Okay, I think we're protected now. <laughs> Yeah, that thing's going to be running for a while. Can't do prod on there. Okay, so I think I am done here. Um, oh, there is a problem. Yeah, this is it right here. Shoot. The sulfur is backing up on me, and that's something I knew it was going to happen. Um, and the problem is that nuclear power isn't running fast enough to chew this up. Oh, I can send this now. We'll get it over there. It's 208. So what do we got in here? 15,000. So I can just go ahead and send that. I don't want to throw it away. You know, it's free material. Okay, so I want to obviously get this filled up. And why did that? Oh, that went there because of the uh, little rocket. So we've got 31,000 now. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Let's not forget this. Yeah, there we go. And then my inventory goes down. I have the cards on me, so I'm going to do the research for the text plate in space. And let's see. Novice orbit, novice orbit landing pad, and none right now. So, because I got to set up the launch pad. So, I'm going to do that, I think. Um, oh, you know what? I do want to get this train here. Oh. Oh, okay. I have a... This is my PAX train. And uh, let me put some fuel in here, like so. 
Oh, and then this one here and circuit condition. Boom. There we go. Cool. So if I come back here, I got a train now. And I think I'm good to go. Uh, I want to make sure that I have everything. So, oh, I got a solar panel I wanted to install. I have a delivery can in here, which I was going to I was gonna use that for the pyroflux. Um, or the vulcanite block. I could still... Sh oh, I, ooh, I'm glad I saw this. Oh, my gosh. There we go. <laughs> I'm glad I remembered those guys. I would have been so pissed if I forgot that crap. Let me look for my, through my inventory and see if I forgot anything here. Okay. Yeah, I almost forgot the... I wanted to... I put another filtration plant here for the quartz crystals because this was not running perfectly and then for some damn reason it's not getting all the way down to the bottom of the for these crystals here okay uh, 11,000 I'll have to keep an eye on this <laughs> okay let's go to novice orbit wahoo there we go now we're back okay what, I like this because I can grab my little little guy there. <laughs> I love it. And then I go, oh, okay. I'm going to compress these here into one thing. I love, i go so glad I remembered this. Uh, oh, I need a space. Oh, yeah, what I got to do is go over here. And then ah, I got to, bam. Oh, that has been driving me nuts. <laughs> oh, you know what I could do? I can finally make these labs here. Where is... Let's slap that in there. I always turn off my logistics because I don't want bots delivering stuff to me. I want it to stay up here. What I can do... Oh, oh, good. It does take the basic tech. Good. What I'm going to do... Oh, I hope I have enough. There we go. 18. Oh, no. Well, I have to come back up. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, copy, because I got to come back up here for the other, uh, other projects that I'm going to have. That one, and that one. And that's going to complain. That's okay, though. All right. Now, I think what I'm going to do is research this right here. So I got all these. Bam. Okay. And now... Yikes. Why were they? Oh, they're grabbing. So I got these basic tech cards here. And I'll just slap them in. Boom! <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> and I brought extras up because of that. Might, might as well, you know. There we go. Oh, that is so awesome. Let's turn old mode off. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. And we're done. Very cool. Very cool. I could run this one. But, like I said, I don't want to do bot builds. I, I probably will rely on bot builds more in, going forward. But, I, I do. I mean, I think the challenge of belts is just so much more fun. All right, we'll turn alt mode back on. Okay, now, it's going to take the crinet rods and throw them in here. I'm okay with that for now. And uh, let me pull this out here. I just wanted to, sh I didn't want that landing pad full just in case. Uh, that's got to stay there. And okay, let me, um, I'm going to combine these parts here into one. I'm going to use this here. All right, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> I'm over here. A uh, stripped out over here the uh little thing i had going on here i'm gonna bring this immersite down with me and make modules so i gotta clear my inventory out as much as possible and we're gonna be doing space platform here so i wanted to do this this is i always like to do the maiden version uh you know like the first time i like to capture that on screen you know all right so this is set up for platform stuff and then on Novice, boom, I have, <laughs> yeah, 9,500 of each, so I have the, uh, I'm just going straight combinator, this is, I can change this, uh, I was messing around with the numbers, and I'm like, well, how much can I cram in here, 
There is a little bit of room left. That's fine. There you go. So I could fiddle with it a little more, you know, get 100, 100, maybe 200 more in there. Yeah, it's fine the way it is. And so, yeah, this this is why this is why I want to redo steel and and all the other crap. So let's go ahead and launch it. Kaboom. There we go. More fuel. Uh, I got plenty of plenty of pyroflux uh, or vulcanite blocks, so I'm not worried about it. There it goes. And. Come on in. There we go. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I'll have to do something with this here. So there we go. Oh, and I could speed it up, but I don't think there's really any need. Well, maybe I can't. Yeah, let's put these in here for now at least. Okay, so uh, this is something I'm going to be manually doing. So I'm going to bring this over here um oh i got two look at that there we go and i gotta set this up with fuel um maybe i'll pull this up and put it in here there we go oh and then this silo uh, i'm gonna toss it here just so i have it up here this is the i'm gonna build this is where oh now what look at let's look at the fuel novice uh packs how much fuel? Where is it? 5,200. Wow, that's so small. That's nothing. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, now I have, I forgot I have these up here, which is awesome. So I'm going to copy uh, this over here. And I did bring an extra up. And I forgot, yeah, I forgot, totally forgot I had these. Now, uh, I have this fuel refinery here. So I think, yeah, let's go maybe down here, I guess. I'll have to reposition this. And then solid rocket fuel, only speed. Um, I, I'm gonna leave the speed out of it. And uh, maybe, oh yeah, I can go right here. So I'm gonna copy, oops, come on. I wanted to put a pump on this. Uh, this is not where it's going to stay, but I just wanted to get it kind of set up here. And then paste. And there. And then, actually, I can copy that. And then paste it right here. And then the rocket fuel can go directly in here. Now I have to put a signal on here if I want to automate this. So I'd have to read from a transmitter or something like that. Maybe put a transmitter here. Um, but yeah, this is the general kind of thing I'm looking at here. So I'll shoot the rocket fuel up. Oh no, I can request rocket fuel. But um, it's better to have this just in case. So if I wanted to specifically send up rocket fuel for this only, I can. You know, I can intervene with it. But I can actually request rocket fuel. But then I don't want to screw with the science rocket fuel, you know, because that's used for the space science. But let's go ahead and put this up here anyway. And that way, and so this will generate the rocket fuel. Oh, is that this way? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, okay, let's copy this whole thing here. I didn't realize that that was that way. Paste. Yeah, I'll go like that then. Yeah, that's fine. So then, yeah, and then I can request rocket sections to this as well. Ooh, you know what? Can I? Oh. I could do a long arm here, but I'd have to wire it up and then do a, you know, a counter on that. So what I can do is put this in here and then, yeah, so this will be the rocket where I can just go, hey, you know, just fill it up with the rocket sections and the space capsules and then when it's completely full send it back down you know and i i probably should pack them you know do the five packs as well okay so that's a general idea. i'll work on that off screen let's see how we're doing over here it's kind of curious how we're doing here uh i got a big chest here oh my god <laughs> oh i got uh more of these 
Where are they? Gimme, gimme. Yeah. I'll go and compress these and then I'll put them in my little cargo rocket. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, these uh, scaffolds don't last very long. Oh, my God. It's... I ran out. I don't know. Oh, I think these stack to 50. These stack to 100. Yeah, so, oh, you know, it's a one-to-one, -one, though. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what they stack to. But I don't know how I got extra steel... Unless I don't have any steel on me. Okay, so that's probably what happened. There we go. All right. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to have to play around with uh, a, des a structure or design here. Uh, but what I, I wanted to do was set these pads up here because I'm going to have to go back to uh, Cornetto because I screwed up. <laughs> I don't screwed up. Well... Uh, the fuel rocket here. Oh, I'm going to manually send this maybe or not. Oh, boy. What am I going to do here? So I got 802 fuel. I think what I'm going to do is I'll take the, my fuel rocket and I'll go to the packs. And then I'll ride this one back. But what I'll do is I'll put a case here on the side to fill the fuel up here because i have you know 802 times 50 when i take this rocket back i'm gonna or i'm gonna take the immersite rocket back because guess what i did i screwed up and i was looking at my i i didn't even see this i totally forgot the damn water i added this filtration unit and i'm looking at my ed i edited the last part and duh it's flashing and so I got a power pole ghosted here. So I have to go here and put the power pole in. And then I'm going to wait for the, uh, well, I can send this Immersite plate anytime. But I'm pretty close. 32,000. It's got to be 50. And then I'll send it up to one of the platforms. But uh, so I got to go back. I can't believe it. That's fine because I'm still muck mucking around here. Now uh, let's go back. Let's go to novice here. And holy crap, look at this thing. Yeah, I got to put uh, prod mods in these. So I'll do that. That's why I want to bring the... Well, I want to get efficiency modules, and then I want to get uh, prod mods going again. Or no, uh, speed. And uh, here is... Look at this. I have 29,000 of these cubes in here. That was the screw up, but 122,000 plus 29. That's a lot of fuel. So yeah, bringing the blocks was that's the way to go. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna work on the cannons eventually and get them better. So I'm gonna work on some strategies there. Let's go back home over here. So I I'm not sure if I want to do the rocket landing pads right next to each other like this, and then for this for the m mixed rocket because I'm still gonna have a mixed rocket. And I think that, for example, this one right here, you know, because I got all, I, I need to distribute this a little better. And the, you know, as I mentioned before, I want to do like specific rockets for specific things so we can bring them up here. And then I can do a, uh, another thing I want to do is a hub, uh, a space hub up here too. I'm really lacking in that department, but there's a lot to do, you know, for one person. Um, that Dash Dashington guy, he had two people helping him. Although he claims he didn't have, oh, they weren't helping me that much because I'm the one doing the video, he says. And I'm like, man, you got people doing outposting for you. That's like so much burden lifted off of you. Oh, my God. He had one guy on the planet doing um, the Crynite rods. He had another guy doing Vulcanite on, the, on a Vulcanite planet. And he's over uh, on Novice doing stuff. Okay, that's, you're multiplying, the, the work that you have to do is now th a third of what I have to do, you know? So, uh, you know, he, and he had trouble, you know, and he's a smart guy. Uh, but anyway, uh, w another thing that I was thinking is we're going to have to bring speed prod and efficiency up 
level ones. So maybe I'll do a rocket of all three of those. And then we're good for a long time. And uh, it all depends. You know, it doesn't matter. If one goes to zero, then, you know, in the platform. Or no, if one goes to zero, and I might sense the belts. And then send that to, that would be the trigger to send a rocket up for the modules, for example, you know. And then a Vulcanite rocket uh, for, God, here I have Vulcanite. And I can't process it up here because you can't do oxygen up in space. At least I don't think you can. Uh, I could try. What is this? Oh, these are all the text plates here. Yeah, we'll get those out of the way. I want to start working with these. Ooh, steel plate. Oh, yeah. Steel plate looks good, too. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to work on, you know, getting some things tightened up here. All this I'm going to rip up and, you know, redo it. And like I said, I'm going to try and future-proof some stuff, but it's going to be kind of tricky. But if I follow some kind of bus structure, then I think it'll be okay. So I think what I'm going to do is start here and then maybe do, you know, space science and, and all that. Maybe work my way down. Uh, but eventually we're going to get trains up here. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did, I, I got a mod, the Dash Dashington guy uh space rail i think so if i type in rail here's space railway check it out space locomotive and this is i can't i don't know who the mod author is uh space proof maglev locomotive designed to pull trains in vacuum environments oh that's so cool um it takes a locomotive, rare metals, heat shielding, electronic circuit, steel gate, uh, steel gear wheel, and processing unit. And I want to use these in space. So the, the other thing about this is it has, uh, let's see, what is this? Fluid wagon and cargo. And they use the, you know, advanced or the processing units. Then we have a space train battery pack charging station. And it uh, uses... Let's see, space train power pack manufacturing. So this is how you make it. You need the lithium sulfide battery. Now, once you make these, you have a 1% chance that you're going to lose it. So space train power pack discharged. When you charge it, you get 99 to 1 back. And then you have this where you have to refurbish it with an, uh, five lithium batteries. You need the, you know, the, obviously the depleted one. And sulfuric acid. That's pretty crazy, huh? What does this need? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, what does it take to make 2010-2? Yeah, the sulfuric acid's kind of a pain. But, you know, eventually, I think you can shoot. Oh, yeah, another thing, too. I, that's why I got to shoot up rocket fuel. You cannot shoot up fuel canisters. Now, I think that makes sense. You know, like the rocket fuel canisters. It makes sense because it's highly flammable. But what doesn't make sense is, and I don't have one on me, is uh, I wonder if, can I make one? I think it's under here. No, it's under here. Oh, here. Yeah, all the text plates are throwing me off here. Yeah, I, I mean, I could grab some crap and make it. But you can send pyroflux barrels, which is flammable. So why can't you send rocket fuel, liquid rocket fuel? That's flammable. Uh, again, you know, some of the stuff doesn't make sense, but I think they're trying to add, you know, hardships just for the, the sake of adding hardships, which I don't agree with, but whatever. Okay, so I, yeah, I'll work on some crap here and get some kind of bus structure. I want to work on the science um, at least. Well, I, I got to redo everything, so I'll showcase that. I also want to do steel, so it's easier to get the platforming going. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room, but what I think I want to do is build um, this way. What the heck is this? Oh, crap. I, I don't know. I want to... The platforms are going to be kind of tricky to work with because, you know, it's one item, one belt out, but then there's the mixed ones. So I have to see how I want to do it. All right. Well, this was just kind of a fun little kick it around episode, flying rockets around. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.